Those guys look almost as tough as me. Impressive.
Whoa, those guys were some hard sons of bitches. Welcome back to Ranger Citadel, recruits. Welcome back to Ranger Citadel, recruits. So you saved Ag Center at the expense of High Pool. A tough decision. And I know it must weigh heavily on your minds, but a choice had to be made. And once you chose Ag Center, you did all you could to save it and its people. I'm particularly pleased that you went out of your way to help Matt Forrestal. He was a great ranger who remains a credit to our organization now that he's left. Also, let me personally thank you for finding Ace's killer, whatever it was. I'm sorry your initiation into the Rangers has been such a trial by fire, but you've proven yourself tough under pressure, and in my eyes, that makes you fit to be a Ranger. You have earned the name. Welcome aboard, Rangers. Now, any questions? Did you? Excellent work. Let me have a look. Hmm. Not much here, is there? Let me see. Fell in with a snake squeezing cellar. Getting that feeling of being followed. Damn, tells a sad story, doesn't it? Guess what came out of the dark was that damn killer robot. Well, looks like your best lead is to find this snake squeezing salesman, whoever he is. Mentions Rail Nomad here, so have a look there if you haven't already. Maybe this fella knows something more, like where the rest of the logbook is. Echo One, your team's recent progress merits a number of field promotions. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. It is your home now, recruits. A place to rest and resupply between missions. A place to learn and to...
Whoa, those guys were some hard sons of bitches. Hey, Woodson. Welcome what do you back hear? to Ranger Citadel, recruits. Welcome back to Ranger Citadel. So you saved Ag Center at the expense. I'm sorry your initiation into the Rangers has been so. Did you? Ex. Well, looks like your best lead is to find this snake squeezing salesman, whoever he is. Mentions Rail Nomad here, so have a look there if you haven't already. It is your home now, recruits. A place to rest and resupply between missions. A place to learn to share your knowledge with others. But it's more than that. Despite its tarnished history, the Citadel is a force for good, a shining beacon of justice in a dark land, a bulwark against barbarism in a world of lawlessness and brutality. Indeed, it is the furrowed field out of which the seeds of order will grow into a new and better civilization. Hey, forgive me get carried away sometimes, but I do believe we are making a difference despite my shortcomings, and that our flame must not be allowed to be snuffed out. That's why we need young, motivated recruits like yourselves. Nelson's all right. A bit young, a bit rowdy, a bit gung-ho, but the Rangers need that now. We need new blood, like yourselves. Woodson's that man right over there, my radio wingman. The man who keeps me on the air. If you want to know more about the repeater units or how to use your radio, see him. One of the brightest minds in the Citadel. She's really helped us get our weapons and armor up to scratch, and she's always coming up with new and better stuff. Worth a visit just to see what she's got cooking. Ace and I went way back, back to the prison days. We fought Finster and the base Cochise robot army together. We rebuilt the Citadel from scratch. That... that I sent him on the mission which got him killed. Things heavy on my heart, and Angie's never gonna forgive me. I don't know. Ace fought plenty of robots in his time and they never gave him any trouble. So I'm wondering if this was something new, something worse. And if it is, we better find out. Listen, if you brought that thing back with you, or even just a part of it, show it to Mer Captain over in the armory, like I said. She might be able to ID it. And here, take this with you when you bring something to Mer Captain. It's a requisition form for some of Mer Captain's top shelf gear. Finding Ace's killer, you deserve it. You are our next generation recruits, and I want you to make us proud. Remember that every action you take reflects directly upon the Desert Rangers as a whole. We worked hard to gain the trust of the people of Arizona, and to have them accept our authority. Keep that in mind every time you draw your weapon or make a promise. The lives of other Rangers and the rule of law depend on your wisdom honor and forbearance. you want to talk to our quartermaster, Sergeant Melson, about that. He'll provide you with all the weapons, armor, and gear you need to carry out your duties in the Wastelands. You may also want to talk to Ethel Murcaptain or TNT Tan if you need something special. We have a library here where we compile maps and information about the region to help us with our work. If you want to know about any old tech or ancient knowledge, go talk to old Flintlock there. If you've got map questions, see Gilbert. He's our cartographer. I... I've been too cautious, recruits. Since we took this place over 15 years ago, I focused too much on keeping the peace in areas we know, and not enough on outside threats. I wanted to rebuild, get our numbers up, but all I've really been doing is letting the world pass us by. Well, that's got to change. And the change starts with you. You are going to find out where this threat is coming from. Our old stomping grounds, since right after the apocalypse. 
We moved out of there about 15 years ago when we took over this place. It wasn't a bad place, but the Citadel is more defensible. The Red Scorpions have moved into the prison since then. Nasty bunch from all accounts. Craziest jackalope we ever faced. Might have been human once, might have been seen too. But when we met him, he was a crazy android bent on wiping out the human race and replacing us all with mutants. Got his head in our museum if you want to take a look. The place was nearly the death of us. Hell, it was nearly the death of the whole human race. Damned malevolent mainframe churning out an endless army of robots. If we hadn't stopped it, well, I hate to think. Well enough not to talk behind her back when she's standing right in front of me. Hey Angie, how you holding up? Better now, General. I'm only crying eight hours out of every day now, instead of sixteen. Ain't no shame in grieving, Angie. No shame at all. Our munitions expert. Crazy bastard is gonna blow us all up one day. Does good work, though. In the field, his ordinance is highly reliable. It's just his workshop that scares the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Flintlock was old when I was your age. Now he's ancient. Knows more about the history of the Desert Rangers than any man alive. And he'll tell you so himself. Gilbert was another one of my squad. We called him Thrasher back in the day. A good man to have in a tight spot. Past his fighting days now, though. Took a wound during the Battle of Base Cochise and never fully recovered. Now, he's our cartographer and damn good at it. You'll find him in the museum with Flintlock. They call themselves the Red Scorpion Militia now, and lately they've been filling the airwaves with a lot of trash about how they're the real law and order around here. Just another raider gang, if you ask me. I don't give them the time of day. Make us proud, recruits. Hey, General. How's the leg? Fine, Angie. Hope you're feeling better. It comes and goes, Snake. You know. Yeah, I do. Welcome back to Ranger Citadel, recruits. Welcome back to Ranger Citadel, recruits. Welcome back to Ranger Citadel, recruits.
Melson. How are the guns? Look at that guy's guns. I could still take them though. Yes, that's better. Hiya, hungry. What's for lunch? That should work. Mmm, delicious. This place. Ah, the heroes awesome. of Ag Center. Welcome. I've been expecting you. Mmm. A very tough decision, considering it was your first time out. Ag Center was a good choice, though. There are great scientists over there. Every new recruit the General brings in gets around to visiting us eventually. The weapons and armor we make are what keep them alive, after all. Most are curious where they come from. I imagine you're no exception. Vargas is a man of vision and prudence. I know a lot of the Rangers think he's too cautious, but I can't agree. Slow and steady is the way to go. He's done an amazing job rebuilding the Rangers after our war with the robots from base Cochise, and we're stronger than ever before. That doesn't mean, however, that we should now go charging off to fight everybody and their brother. We must expand gradually, and fully assess all threats before taking action. We service, repair, and reinvent every kind of weapon, from knives and handguns to rifles, even energy weapons when we can get our hands on them. We don't do explosives, though. That's TNT Tan's department. We have everything from sturdy leather jackets to hand-forged plates to the finest reconditioned pre-war combat armor we can find. You'll have to pay for the more expensive items. Research and repair doesn't come free, but we aren't out to make a profit, just to recoup our expenses. Go see Sergeant Melson for that. I've got some custom, interesting armor, but the General's orders are to save those for special loadouts only. Well, that's a bit of a misnomer. We do make some of them, the really interesting ones, but mostly what we do here is refurbish scavenged weapons and armor. One thing we hope our Rangers will do is collect any broken down weapon parts, stray bits left over from modding, what have you, that they find as they patrol the wastes and bring them back here to Melson over in the Quartermaster's office. In exchange, he'll buy it off you at a great markup. A pre-war research facility, dedicated to the science of robotics. Its mainframe was malfunctioning, and kept building more and more robots and sending them out to defend itself against imaginary enemies. The Rangers destroyed the computer and the robots and saved the world, which is, of course, a good thing, but... Well, I wish I had been a Ranger then. From all reports, the sophistication of the computer's AI was incredible, and its death was a great loss to science. I can't help thinking that, had I been there, 
I might have been able to find a way to shut it down without destroying it. What a tool for good it could have been. The others say that our biggest threat is the Red Scorpion Militia, who have taken over the prison which used to be our headquarters. They've been getting more organized and settled, and the fear is, now that they've established themselves, they'll start expanding their borders. What I say is, this will make them easier to negotiate with. Nomadic raiders have nothing to lose. A clan with towns and farms to protect thinks twice about risking their destruction by going to war. I say our biggest threat is expanding too fast. Let's make sure the communities we patrol are fully protected before we go looking for more. Nicest guy you could ever want to meet, but shall we say less than cautious? He's nearly blown himself up more than once. He likes creating experimental explosives just like I like working on experimental weapons and armor. Though I dare say my safety record is <clears throat> a trifle better than his. He knows his guns, I'll give him that. Though I wouldn't have him in my shop. He's not nearly focused enough. Huh. The interesting ones are my department. I'm always trying to come up with new and better weapons and armor using bits and bobs we have lying around. Can't just give them away, though. Creating them takes a lot of our precious resources, so the General is pretty tight with the requisition orders. Some very nice pieces. Let's see. Hmm, not seeing anything allocated for you, Rangers. Sorry. Hmm, well, the General keeps a tight grip on requisition orders. All of the officers in the Citadel have the power to give them out, but only if we think a particular weapon would be necessary for the successful completion of a mission, or if we're impressed by how a Ranger team completed a difficult assignment. I can hand over one piece of tech for each rec you earn, but just one. So make sure you think it over before you take the first shiny thing you see. Some very nice pieces. Hmm, not seeing anything allocated for you, Rangers. Sorry. Hmm, let's have a look at it. Remarkable, but unnerving. I've never seen robot tech this advanced. It'll take me some time to give it a full examination. So, if you'll excuse me, I... Or perhaps... Welcome back to Ranger Citadel, Recruit. And good job. Make us proud, Recruits. It's an honor to meet you, General. Welcome the back Rangers to Ranger Citadel, right. Recruits. Why, thank you, son. I thought you guys were old. Damn!
Hey now, Thrash.
Yes, that's better. 